Hello everyone, welcome once again in today's quick and productive tutorial. Today we'll be learning how we can design this amazing Marvel movie intro with just using PowerPoint animations. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the tutorial. So let's open PowerPoint. I want to insert some images that I have downloaded from the internet. So I'll go to the insert tab and select the picture icon. From this device, I can browse the folder where my pictures are. So I will select the, that folder. Here are my pictures. So I'll select all the pictures and click the insert button. Cool, all of my pictures are inserted. So I will click outside to deselect all, then select the picture on the top. Now I want to apply some animation to that. So I will go to the animation tab and click add animation. I'll select disappear animation from here. Now to see the animation timeline, I have to click this animation paint option on the top. So this will open the animation timeline. So I have to do a little customization to that also. So I'll right click on my animation and first select the start with previous option. And then I will go to the duration in the upper panel and here I will change the duration to 0.2 seconds. Okay, so the animation of my first picture is done. So I want to copy and paste this animation to other pictures. So PowerPoint has a very good solution for that. There is an option called animation painter. If I select the picture and click the animation painter, it has copied the animation. So if I click any other picture, look, the animation has been pasted. So that's how I will paste the animation to other pictures. I select the pictures, select the animation painter and click another image. Okay, now I have painted the same animation to all the pictures. Now I have to play with the timeline of this animation. So I will from the second picture, I will add some delay. Uh, PowerPoint has a built-in delay of 0.25 seconds. If I press the upper arrow once, it will make a delay of 0.25 seconds. So it's well for us. So I will click the third picture and click the upper arrow two times. And fourth picture and click the upper arrow four times. Well, after this, we'll click outside of the slide and click Ctrl A option to select all the pictures. Then we'll go to the Format tab and from the Align option, I will click Align Center and again from the Align option, I'll click the Align Middle. It will make our picture stack together. So I will drag this picture stack to fit my slide size. Okay. Now I will go to the home tab and at the right corner I can see a select option. If I click the drop down menu I can see third option called selection page. This is also useful for us so I will click that. Now this is the profile of every picture has been showing and right now all are selected. So right now if I press Ctrl D all pictures will be duplicated. Okay, I can zoom out a little bit and adjust my image to the slide. Now there is an issue that all the pictures that have been pasted, it pasted on the top. We want this set of pictures under the previous set of pictures. So that's why I'll right click on that and select the send to back option. Okay, now this stack has been under that previous stack. Now I have to adjust these delays after that. You can manually select this and move these things. So I'm doing it manually. You can also go to the animation tab and set the delay from here also. Now again, select outside of the slide and hit the control option. That will select the two sets of pictures. Again, I will control, press control D to duplicate this and adjust the slide position. And now I'll right click on that and select send to back option. It's work as previously. 
the newer set of pictures is behind the previous set of pictures. Now I will adjust this animation. Okay, done. Now I will hide this selection pane option and zoom this slide a little bit. We'll go to the insert tab and select the shape icon and choose rectangle from there. Now I can right click on this rectangle and from the outline select no outline and from the fill we can select more color option. From here we'll take dark red type of color. Now I have to right click on this shape and select format shape option. Here another window has been opened and from the fill option I can change the transparency of this rectangle color. So I will change it 72% is looking good. So I'll again close this tab and now I will place the text. So for that I'll go to the insert tab and select the word art option and type Marvel here. I want to press Ctrl A and go to the home tab to format this text. So at first I'll remove the shadows and change the fonts. I'm using build tilting SB font. This is quite similar to the Marvel original. So I'll increase the size and also selecting that I'll change the color to white. Now let's add animation to this text. So I'll select the text and go to the animation tab and click add animation. And from here I'll select grow and shrink animation. This time I'll use grow and shrink animation to reduce its size. So that's why I'll from the animation pane and right, right click on that and select the effect option. From here I'll change the percentage to 75% and select the enter button. And from the timing I'll change on click to previous. Okay, the duration will manually adjust it. Right now I'm clicking OK button. So here is my timeline, I can adjust it from here. So I will drag it, I will extend the size to the end point of the previous animation. Okay. So if I click outside and play, click the play all option, I can see the animations. Okay, it's look quite good. Okay, now stop. I might increase the font size a little bit. So go to the home tab and little increase the font size a little bit. Now we'll add the subscript of the Marvel Studios. So for that I will take two line, two rectangles, slim rectangles. Now I'll take the text word out option and type studios. And by clicking Ctrl A, I'll go to the home tab and format this text. Okay, from here, I will select Ctrl A to select all the text. And then there is an option here that will increase the spacing between the letters. So I'll select the more spacing option. And here in this box, I'll type 40 and select the OK option. And the two rectangles that I have created, I'll select this and change its color to white as well. And from the outline option, I'll select no outline. Okay. Now let's add animation to the substitute. So select the first rectangle and from the animation pane, select add animation and select fly in animation. And from the effect option, select from left. And then select the second rectangle and click the add animation option and this time select fly in and again from the effect option choose from right. Now select the text and click the add animation option and from here click the appear animation. These three animation I have added. I want to customize this animation also, so right click on that and select start with previous.
So I'm selecting rectangular 52 and from the duration option, I'll change the duration to 0.1 second. Okay. Now I want to change the timeline for that. Let's start it from 4.5 seconds. And now let's open the slideshow. Isn't it cool guys? Now to save this as a video file you have to go to the file option and from here click the export button and their number 2 option is called create a video click that and hit the create video button and select the location for that and then press save button. So for more videos like it please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. And if you want to download this template file the link would be just in the description. Thanks for watching guys. Stay safe and sound. Goodbye.